Hey, it's Adel Sines from MimicMethod.com where you can learn foreign languages by ear. You do it this way, you learn faster, understand more, you live longer, last longer in bed, everyone loves you, life is much better. But today we're going to talk about a very common question that people ask me all the time, which is, can you learn multiple languages at the same time? Two or more languages at the same time. Now, I understand where this is coming from because you see people like myself online speaking multiple languages. I happen to speak six, but screw me, there's people out there on YouTube speaking 10, 15, 20 languages. And you think to yourself, man, I want that. I want to speak all these languages. I want to do it all at once. How about I study two at the same time, maybe even three at the same time? And I understand that sentiment. However, it's not very wise. And the analogy I like to think of is driving two bikes at the same time. You were like your friend leaves like a bike, you gotta carry two bikes somewhere, and then you're trying to like drive one and like carry the other, and you're like scratching your ankles and it's all annoying. And you see someone doing that, and you're like, look, man, just drive one to where you need to go, and then come back and then drive the second one. If you do it sequentially, it's much faster than if you try to do it simultaneously. And it's the same for learning a foreign language. If your goal is to learn French, for example, you want to go to Paris and meet people in Paris, have conversation with them, it's an uphill battle. It takes a long time, or a lot of effort rather, to learn a foreign language. So you need to be focused. Multitasking is a myth. You need to single task. You need to focus on that one language, get to the point you want to get to as quickly as you can. Then, once you get to that point of conversational fluency, you can go back and try something else. Try Spanish, try German, Chinese, whatever it may be. But I do not recommend trying to become conversational in two languages at the same time. However, there's one caveat to this. In our language philosophy, there are three stages to learning a foreign language. First, hearing and pronunciation, then understanding and speaking, then reading and writing. We save reading and writing for the N to really improve your command of the language, and the focus is on understanding and speaking and having a conversation. But before you can understand someone, you need to be able to hear them. Before you can speak to someone, you need to be able to pronounce the words in that language. So step one in the mimic method is hearing and pronunciation. Learning hearing and pronunciation in a language is about mastering your mouth, mastering your hearing. So if you study the phonetics, the sound, the hearing and pronunciation of two languages at the same time, they actually play off of each other because no matter what language you're speaking, we all use the same mouth. So each language you learn gives you more familiarity with the mouth. Each language you add on to that gives you more perspective. So for example, for me, uh, I learned Spanish first, then later on I learned Portuguese. And when I learned Portuguese, I went back to my Spanish, I was like, ah, I can pronounce these things better, I can hear these things better, because now I have that much more dexterity and familiarity with the anatomy and physiology of my own mouth. Right, My ear was sharper, I had more nuance. So when it comes to learning, hearing, and pronunciation, I actually do recommend that people explore several languages at once and tune your ear to different languages. Because when you do this, once again, you have more perspective, more control. It's kind of like a comparative study, comparative phonetic study of the mouth. So that being said, to summarize, first decide which language do you really want to learn and make that your sole focus and goal for um, conversation, for understanding and speaking. But when it comes to uh, hearing and pronunciation, you can mix it up explore, get more perspective on all different things. And if you go to our website, mimicmethod.com, and you purchase one of our pronunciation courses, you can get another course for a discount, right? So that's all I gotta say for that. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comments. If you know someone who's learning multiple languages at once, and they're like that guy on the road, you know, banging his ankles together, trying to ride two bikes at the same time, send them this video, let them know they're way better off single tasking, multitasking is a myth. This is not just a language learning lesson, it's a life lesson. Trust me, it took me a long time to learn it. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this live video, and I'll catch you next time. Finish.